This movie tells a story about Sister Irene as she once again comes face to face with Falak, the demon nun. It's a sequel to the 2018 The Nun as it picks up on the cliffhanger ending of the first film. This movie starts decent as it tries to build the general atmosphere of unease using its setting to build tension and mysticism. Unfortunately, while there's a decently disturbing idea in a demon invading a religious boarding school, it also doesn't amount to anything suspenseful or remotely entertaining until the final 20 minutes. Plot details are contrived and loose, and you cannot help but feel the film drag to a halt as we know where Irene has to go, but have to wait for an age for her to get there. The movie fails to shock or scare, and it becomes tedious and meandering with its color-by-numbers plot rather sooner than later. While the movie does manage some chills, it's simultaneously predictable and nonsensical. It doesn't want to spend enough effort to explain the machinations of the demon as well. The movie is relying on pointless jump scares to push the film along. However, most of them are terribly constructed considering how telegraphed and obvious they are. The cliché technique of horror films like dark corridors, murky moments out of the corner of the frame, and a blasting score are mostly deployed to eye-rolling effect. There's lots of schoolgirls screaming and scenes lit only by torchlight, begging the question as to why nobody ever turned the lights on. Deploying children once again to be the victims of the devil's minions holds diminishing returns as well. There are no well-written characters or compelling character dynamics here as it often feels as if even the filmmakers do not know how to fill the time before the two sets of characters converge. The characters are thin and there's lots of padding making it feels like Sister Irene gets lost in her own film. Sister Debra mostly comes across as an afterthought sidekick as there's no compelling bond develops between these two characters. It's all white noise as they travel from location to location, inevitably getting wrapped up in a supernatural terror. The third act really feels nonsensical and the conclusion provides the story without satisfying payoffs. Overall, we do not recommend to watch this in theaters. Just wait on your streaming service.